All right, all set. And three, two, one, action! This is Cinematic Motif. Hello, I'm Wonson and welcome back to Cinematic Motif, a show where I introduce your films in Taiwan and around the world. I'm a film columnist and a content creator and this is my very beautiful place of introducing films to you if you are a first time, uh, first come, first comma, first time coming here. Okay, so today we're actually going to do something really special. Today is the, the start of the month of May and in this month we're going to do May Maestro. In this month I'll be introducing you some of the greatest film composers um, that I, li- I personally like so so much. They are genuinely the masters in film score composing. They are the maestros. And this week we're going to start with Alexandre Desplat. So you might know Alexandre Desplat, uh, you might not know his name, but you definitely know the works that he has done for our beautiful cinematic world. So Desplat, he has received two uh, Oscars for Best Original Score, including the Grand Budapest Hotel and The Shape of Water. And he has, he has, he has also worked on a lot of brilliant films, including King's Beach, uh, The Queen, and also The Imitation Game, Isle of Dogs, Little Women, and also um, The French Dispatch, and even a very famous film series, which I'm going to tell you later on, but not now. So Alexandre Desplat, he is uh, French. He was born in France and he started playing piano at the age of five. And if you want to take a listen of his piano, I would highly recommend you to start with this film. It's called The King's Speech or in Chinese, Wang Zhe Zhi Sheng Xuan Zhan Shi Ke. It talks about the British royal story of a king learning how to speak, do public speaking uh, during, I, I remember it was the Second World War. Yeah, this is a film that I like so much and I also like um, Alexandre Desplat's music a lot because he tries to tell the story. He shakes away the burden of providing the melody. Instead, he tries to present a narrator trying to narrate the story. And I think that is, that is really, really beautiful. Let's give it a listen here on Cinematic Motif. Thank you. 
Don't you feel like that Alexander's blood music is kind of like a narrator? Like I said, he likes to tell stories、uh, in his music very beautifully and very gracefully. These two tracks are from the film The King's Speech, 王者之声宣战时刻 And actually, as I said,、um, Alex on this blood is, was born in France, right? But he actually has a Greek mother and a French father, and his parents met in the U.S. while they were attending university. And after the marriage, they moved to France, and then they were pregnant. And our beautiful composer, this blood. Was born, and that's why I think this blood has some sort of connection with France. And I'm glad that he has worked with Wes Anderson on a film about that is set in France,、uh, The French Dispatch. In 2021, this is one of the most quirky film I've ever watched, but also really, really cute. Especially Alexandre Desplat's music; it's almost like a children's story. It's so cute. So let's give it a listen. This is from The French Dispatch. Cute, so so cute by Alexandre Desplat.、Uh, obituary from the film The French Dispatch. This is a really really cute cute film, just so you know. All right, so today we're doing May Maestro. That means that we're going to explore the biggest compu-、uh, composers in our show this month. And today we're talking about Alexandre Desplat, who is a French composer. He has worked on so many good films,、uh, including like we just talked about, The King's Speech, The French Dispatch, and actually he has also worked on some really really big、um, blockbusters. And maybe you know this. I hope so. Now. Um, he has worked on a Harry Potter film, not a, but like two, like several Harry Potter films, and that is. Let's give it a guess. 
Yes, it is the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. All right, I know no one is guessing. <laughs> anyway, this is from Alex on this blood's uh, soundtrack that he has made for Harry Potter's and the Deathly Hallows Part Two. Very, very um, this is very scary, right? Because the, the Part Two, yeah, it's like like the grand finale of Harry Potter. So there was a sort of big fight between Lord Voldemort and Harry Potter and Hogwarts. So this track is called Lily's Theme from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, of course, composed by Alexandre Desplat here on Cinematic Motif, Radio Taiwan International. This is composed by Alexandre Desplat from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. As I said, I think Desplat's music is so good at storytelling. And this one, these, these tracks tells the story of a grand epic war so, so much. Now, Harry Potter, like I said, um, might not be... Did I say that? No, I didn't. But anyway, let me tell you now. Harry Potter might not be uh, Alexander Desplat's best of the best, but he, it's definitely one of the most well-known. Um, but Alexander Desplat has actually worked on other films that are really, really good and really, really good at take, getting awards all around the world. In fact, um, as of 2022, Alexander Desplat has composed the music of 12 films that were nominated for the Best Picture at the Oscars. He's so good at this, right? He's so good at picking films that he's going to work on. And the next one I'm going to uh, share with you is actually some of the films that Alex on this blast have made re in recent years that are more about um, sad stories. They are not that of big budget, but um, 
really sad, but、uh, also historical stories. For example, the Imitation Game, which uh, uh, stars uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, it talks about Alan, a story of Alan Turing, a gay scientist、uh, during the Second World War in the UK. That is a film that I like so so much. And also, Alex von der Blatt has also worked on another film that is related to LGBTQ plus issues, and this film also won.、Uh, A lot of awards all over the world, right?、Uh, this film is called The Danish Girl or Danmai Nu Hai, and this is also a historical film, also related to、uh, LGBTQ plus issues. And Alex von der Blatt tells the story really, really well again. This time with、uh, in Danish Girl. So what I'm playing you right now is from this film,、uh, The Danish Girl, and you can get a sense of how Alex von der Blatt grows from the Harry Potter. And even the King's Speech now to the Danish girl. This is a storytelling that we are looking forward to in a historical drama. That's why I said Alex von der Blatt can handle a lot of different films, and he's good at storytelling in very in different genres of films, even the sorts of historical drama. He's so good at this. This is very very touching. From the Danish Girl by Alex von der Blatt. All right, so we've been talking about a lot about Alex von der Blatt, and I hope you get a little more. Understanding about who Alex von der Blatt is and his beautiful works. So today we've been talking about、uh, the Danish Girl, Harry Potter, and the French Dispatch, and even the King's Speech. These are all films that I like a lot, and also the scores that I like so much. Alex von der Blatt's score is the sort of music that I can listen to again and again and again and again, and I find different things every time when I'm listening. Because he's so good at using different kinds of instruments, but I would say mainly he's good at violins and piano. Of course, you know he he's a pianist, right? But anyway, he is a good storyteller. He tells different kinds of stories. He tells touching stories, scary stories, epic stories, and that's what we are looking for in a maestro. A、uh, com- uh, master in film score composing. So in the next few weeks, we'll be talking about other. Big film composers, including. Let me tell you this. Okay, give you a little sneaky peek、uh, of the show next week. We're going to talk about John Williams. He's also a big one, so stay tuned for that next week. But for now, I'm going to leave you with another film <laughs> composed by、uh, another film score、uh, composed by Alex von der Blatt. This film actually won the best original music、um, at the Oscars, namely the Academy Awards. This film is called Shape of Water, and we talked about this film before on the show. I hope you still remember that we talked about this film. Like,、uh, I remember it was the first episode, right? We were talking about water and the sea, right? The ocean, very quirky Guillermo del Toro story about、um, a creature from the water. And this is all composed by Alex von der Blatt from. From、uh, the Shape of Water、uh, in 2017, and that's all for the show today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cinematic Motif. As always, if you've got anything that you want to tell me, send your email to wanson at rti.org.tw. You can also follow me on my Instagram and YouTube. My handle is at wanson.scfe. And this has been Cinematic Motif. I'm back next week. Bye bye.
Listen. Are you listening? <laughs> This is the sound of my country. This is the sound of Taiwan. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Taiwan, a small island with a whole world of sounds.